When I wake up in the morning, I don't think, am I motivated to go do what I'm supposed to do? No, I don't think about it for one millisecond. When the alarm clock goes off, I have no thought about whether this is easy, whether this is hard, whether I want to do it, whether I don't want to do it. None of that matters. It's an emotionless, thoughtless discipline. When the alarm clock goes off, you get up, you get out of bed, and you go do what you're supposed to do. I don't care how it feels. I don't care if it's easy or hard. It doesn't even matter to me. It's just a reaction, it's a discipline, and it's life. And that's the way I choose to live my life. It is not what you perceive about me. It's what I perceive about me. It's not what they say about you that matters. It is what you say about you that threatens your destiny. You will never be defeated by what they say about you. You will be defeated by what you say about you. The difference between successful people and non-successful people is here. You have to change this. So if you're at a place in your life and you ain't happy with it, you have to change some things. But you have to make a conscientious decision that you're going to change. And it's not dependent on anybody else. It don't matter what your mama think. It don't matter what your coworkers think. It don't matter what your siblings think. It don't matter what your children think. It don't matter. They have nothing to do with it. This decision is yours and yours alone. Your hardships, your challenges, your situation will either be the reason you don't make it or it will be the story you tell when you do make it and you get to make that choice. Those of you that are achieving, one of the reasons the achievement is slowed down is you've allowed yourself to feel less desperate. When you were broke and starting your business or when you were brand new in your relationship and you were desperate to get her to love you or desperate to get him to love you, you took massive big action. How many of you are moms in the room? Raise your hand. If you woke up tomorrow morning and your baby wasn't in their bed, would you be desperate right away, yes or no? Big time desperation. You wouldn't be thinking about what you need to do. You'd be acting, wouldn't you? You'd immediately make the decision. You'd take massive action. You'd search the house. You'd go into the street because you were desperate. So when you remove desperation, all this bullshit creeps into your life where you think you have to have the perfect plan and look the perfect way and have the perfect thoughts and be all zen and perfect. What you need is to be desperate. What you need is to get after it. Your imagination, you're the only one who can see it. You're the only one who can see it. The problem with your imagination, though, is you tell it to the wrong people. How many times have you had this really incredible idea and you took it to your family and your friends? You shared it with them and they shot it down. You know why they shot it down? Because they couldn't see it. See all this stuff you've been imagining? You ought to start working on it. Your real life is in your imagination. Dust off your imagination and just go for it. You got to try. Quit waking up thinking you ain't got no say-so in your life. You have a choice in this matter. You can't stop what happened to you, but you can doggone show do something about what happened to you. Life is 10% what happened to you, is 90% what you do about it. I don't care if you have to inch your way day by day, even if you have to get down and it hurts and it's hard and nobody can see what you're really going through. If you don't quit. If you want to know something about yourself, sit on your bed one night and say, what's one thing I'm doing wrong? that I know I'm doing wrong, that I could fix, that I would fix. You meditate on that, you'll get an answer. And it won't be one you want, but it'll be the necessary one. Everything that's happening to you is God is processing. Every difficult moment you're having, He just processing you. That's all He doing. Everything you're going through is preparing you for what you ask God for. And if you need to be tough, when you get to where you're going, then he gonna toughen you. If you gotta be more caring along the way, he gonna let you have some trials come your way that's gonna have to produce that in you. If you wanna begin to move, you've got to clear your mind of all the unnecessary luggage and baggage that's weighing us down. You're gonna have people to do things to you. Things are gonna to happen to you. And the most important thing to do is to harness your will and let it go and move so you can grow, so you can get on with your life. It doesn't matter about what happens to you. What matters is, what are you going to do about it?